Hello everybody, I'm Brad Avid Raw and I'm here at this, uh, this planet. I'm going to scan the rings to find some void holes. Don't know whether there are any or not at all, so I'm just going to scan it and then find out. You can see I've got, I'm already in an analysis mode. I've got the scan, discovery scanner on the right, which I've already done. And I've got the surface scanner on the left, which says it's out of range. So I need to get in a bit closer. Until it turns around and says too fast, and then I can slow down and that becomes available. Go into the surface scanner. Now, as you can see, I'm moving away from the planet so that you can see the that, that uh, line that's across there is um, the edge of the planet or the equator, if you will. So I keep moving until I hit ring and then fire up the And there we go. It scans. Surface scan complete. And as we can see, we've got plenty of hot spots. So now all I've got to do is determine which ones are the voids, if there are any. Left panel. In there, um, sorry. I've got um, alexandrite. I've got alexandrite, grandite. Okay. So that's it, we've got nothing. No. Void opals. There we go. <laughs> Not a problem. I already have one in the system that I can go to. So I'm going to go into there. And we can skip forward to, so not to bore you with my travelling through uh, Super Cruise. At a planet that I've already scanned, and as you can see, there's plenty of hot spots on this one. I can flick through them all by just looking at them, and I can see which ones I need. But, uh, if I go to my left panel, left panel, and look in the uh, navigation thing, that I've got Alexandrite, Alexandrite, Monzonite, Alexandrite, so on and so forth, uh, going down. There's a lot here. Low temperature diamonds, they're pretty good. And there we go, void opals. <clears throat> right, so I'm going to head into the void opals. We're in. There's the void opal hotspot. Now, the normal way I would scan for void opals is using a, a sort of a spider's web effect by going to the center and working outwards. Uh, to work outwards in a straight line, you best to pick, once you get to the center, is to pick a, uh, how can I say, another point somewhere in the ring or even the planet itself and head towards it and keep in a straight line and keep scanning from that, in that direction. Now then, once you've done that, whoop, there we go, I've hit the center. I'm going to, there's a few ships up out and they're probably going to get scanned. Now the best way is just to let them scan you because you're empty at the moment. Scan detected. They're asking you what I've got and the uh, scan will soon be over, fair enough. But I've got nothing so they're not going to be interested, they'll just say, well, you know, you waste less time and bugger off. Which is good. Once they scan you, they do tend to leave you alone. Okay, are we going to go away? There's a couple over there. One, two, three, four ships over there for some reason. But they could just be miners. Anyway, um, I've got me, me centre point now. Now all I've got to do is pick a point to head towards. Now the planet's the easiest one to do. Uh, so if I go to left panel, left panel I can then select the planet target it and now I can see that it's there directly in front of me now I can either head towards it or I can head away from it that gives me um, a 
pattern to follow. I'm going to head towards it. So what I'll do is bring up my scanner. Go once. Here's me. Pulse wave scanner. Oh, well, somebody's having a bit of a battle over there. They're welcome to that. I'm not interested. I'm after opals. So I'm going to head over this way. There's one that's glowing quite deep red. And I find the deep red ones can quite often give you the, what you want. But I'll send the prospector onto that. It's not really bright, so I'm not holding out much hope. The shape's okay. Oh, look at that. <laughs> void opals. I have got void opals. Asteroid scan complete. That's good enough for me. Okay, switch to my seismic charge. Pick a fisher. High strength. So this one's a full blast. All three bits on there. Okay, now the sequence has started, so the time started tying down, so I've got to find another one that I can work on. You get used to where to find them after a period of, you know, difficult at first, but uh, there's low strength, so I just want to the bottom pick on that one. This one is low strength again, so... Oops. Right, so that's optimum yield. So I'm time to move away. I've still got 82 seconds like left, so I'm plenty of time. If you do accidentally go over the optimum yield, you need to be quick and disable one of the uh, charges. I'd suggest you pick uh, a low one and disable it and then find another and put another charge on but with a slightly less uh, yield on it but you do have you are limited in time so you have to be quick you have to move around the asteroid fairly quick so get used to using your thrusters left panel left panel and I could pick one of those and tell it to detonate now if I wanted to uh, or disarm it but I'm quite happy to sit watch it go it's got 11 seconds detonation here we in go 10 seconds It's a lovely sound when that goes. Okay, so I'll move in. My Collect Olympic will move in. Cargo scoop. The cargo scoop deployed. deployed. Deploy another limpet. And again, just stay outside, let the limpet do its work. Don't go in too close. You'll find you when you go into the uh, dust that you've created, you're temperature drops to zero but that's understandable as you're just you're floating about in uh, ice collector limpet expired and I need another collector limpet I've only got two collector limpets going at once because oh see they're clumsy Uh, the Olympic controller I've got on there just has two, but I, on one of my other ships I have it so there's, it's got three, and, and that I find is better. I'm, I intend to upgrade this one to one that has three. If you better more time because they, they collect the, Olympic, the, uh, the chunks a lot quicker, of course. But, uh, it's just a matter of another the asteroid parts have moved out I can move in a bit closer give the limpets a bit better chance of collecting them all
This is why you need shields as well, because you want to, you, you're very near lumps of asteroids that are floating about and you're going to be bouncing off them. Especially when you start manoeuvring with your thrusters, you, you can't see everywhere around you, so you end up, especially if you're not using a, an oculus like myself, and you're only working in 2D, it's hard work to see where you are, so you end up crunching into them. I can see that there's quite a few there. And there's, we're getting to the point where we're the loose ones, I'm going to start blasting off the surface deposits. Okay, it's time to start blasting. Oops. Aha, there's one. Don't worry about your uh, limpets much because they do tend to find their way around and get to you. So I just go ahead and find the bits that you want and blast them off. Oh, that's a bad one. That one's too close to the asteroid. I hope she... Uh, don't do that. Yep. Expired. Oof. I knew that was going to happen. I need to get that away from the asteroid. So I nudge it away, then the, the because if the Olympic bangs it against the, the asteroid, it will disappear into it. You could always scoop it yourself, of course. And I've done that in the past when I've the Olympics. The temperature's dropping there. Okay. Oh. There's another one there. Collect expired. Oh, does that mean there's one actually in a bad place there? Oh, has that gone into the... Yeah, I think it has. It's been pushed into the asteroid, so it's floating around inside the asteroid. Which is very annoying, because that means you can't get it. And then you can hang around and wait for it to come out, but it will tend to... Um, expire before that happens because the asteroid's not moving very quickly so you've just got to write it off I'm afraid until they sort the bug out right panel what did I get 16 I got 16 chunks at 1.6 million credits a piece not bad at all So it's time to move on. So that's how you you, you do it. Oh, I'm going to the wrong way. Just keep on your your path. Keep scanning. Find them. Blast them. Move once you've got to sort of as far as you think you want to go. You can go right to the edge of the ring, or you can just give up when you want when you think you're running out. Uh, and then head back to the center. Don't scan on the way back because you'll be tempted to. Use your limpets again and you'll be just wasting them because you've already been through that way and you've scanned. Get back to the center and then head out in a different direction. Doesn't matter which direction, just any direction will do. Keep in a straight line and do the same again.
So I'll sign off for now and uh, hope you have plenty of luck collecting your opals.